Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, you guys know I went back to my favorite Japanese dollar store, Daiso. Number one, bicycle front light. You guys, we have headlights. <gasps> For $1.50, was this not a freaking good deal? I thought so. I've always wanted lights for my bike. I don't ride at night anyway. I don't know why, but they just look so cool. And this is now gonna keep you safe because people are gonna see you coming, even though you don't ride at night. I don't know. I saw it and I thought, for $1.50, are you nuts? Everybody needs them. Maybe your stroller, if you're trying to walk the kids around the block at night, get some fresh air, that would be good too. Is this not a good deal for $1.50? Tell me if you can find an LED, three LED lights for your bike at Walmart. Let's put some batteries in it and then we'll go test it outside on my bike. Ooh, it's kind of cheap. It has a little hook for your handlebars. I'm so excited about this. You know what else I want? I want the lights that go around the wheels of my bike. Cause when I'm riding dirty, <laughs> I just broke one out. When I'm riding dirty down the street, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I'm just repeating it. I hope that doesn't mean anything bad. What does that mean? Somebody told me like, I have a feeling that's not something good that I should be saying. Okay, we're gonna turn it on. Ooh, <gasps> look at that. We got all kinds of riding dirty modes. <laughs> this means I'm married, back up. This means, Single and ready to mingle. <laughs> Riding dirty, that's what that means. <laughs> Number two, car organizer. You can put it right in between your seats and put like your cell phone, chargers, snacks, the remote controls. <laughs> Ooh, I bet you could put a Velcro on this and put it right next to your recliner, boom remote control holder. Sometimes you have to think outside the box for some of these products because this could be all kinds of things holder, you know? But it goes in the middle of, ooh, that's very well made. And this little middle piece comes off, look at that. Pins, change, you know, your pennies, quarters, dimes, and nickels. Have you guys heard? There is a change shortage in America. What is all that about? How come? Where did all the coins go? <laughs> Where did all the change go all of a sudden? Listen, when I heard that I went Mandela effect, what's happening? That's what I said. So this can be for your collection of change because there's a shortage. So put your quarters in here, especially if you go to Aldi, Aldi, however you say that store. You know how you always need a quarter to get the cart out? I never have a quarter, so I always try to carry everything. I wonder if it can be used in the back seat as well, right? For the kids. I don't know what they could put in here, but maybe coloring stuff? I don't know. Let's go try it in the car and I'll let you know if it fits in the back seat. So, <gasps> see what I'm saying? Snacks, quarters. I love that. Lipsticks, one for the passenger, one's for the driver, maybe for the kids in the back. It fits the dang back seat, you guys. The kids are gonna love it. Okay, so I actually love it. It is so well made and I love the little design that they put on here. Great idea for $1.50, I would get a couple of them for the car. His, hers, and the kids. So I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Number three, multi-purpose tongs. It is a 10 in one. We need to do an as seen on television commercial for this guy, 10 in one. You know all those as seen on TV kitchen gadgets always promise like 25 in one, 87 in one, <laughs> all that. So when I saw 10 in one for this thing, I thought we need an infomercial for this guy. $1.50, product of the damn year. First one, let's toss a salad. <laughs> I do have a salad here. What you're gonna do is watch me break it. Separate them. Oh, I thought I broke it. No, look, number one, tosser. Okay, and then you put it back. You just snap it right in there. Boom, regular tongs. Would you like a salad? One teaspoon and one tablespoon. I have some milk so you guys can see it. Give them some milk. Remember that meme? I always spill these things. Oh, shit. At the end is your fork. This end here is for cutting soft. <laughs> Perfect, look how cool I cut that so easily. Strainer, egg separator, if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, 
There you go. I busted the yoga thing. No, I didn't. Masher to mash stuff, potatoes, <laughs> cooking spoon. You can use it to stir chili. Taste it. For $1.50, 10 and one, I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna give the multi-purpose, exactly, tongs, five Vivian heads. Number four, liquid foundation puff. You know what it kind of reminded me of? Like a beauty blender, but in the shape of a finger instead of a squishy little sponge. Let me see. See, very similar to the texture of a beauty blender. You get two of them for $1.50. Is that, wow, so soft. You just stick your finger in there. I thought it was like two fingers, but it's only one. Oh, I just broke it. Oh no, <laughs> very delicate. Oh, but it is the softest little spongy. <gasps> $1.50, these are good. We'll just try it on this cheek here just to see what it's gonna look like, but I have a feeling it's gonna go on like a beauty blender. I wonder if I should wet it. Ooh, it says it can be used with or without water. I'm telling you, this is a finger beauty blender. I went ahead and ran it under water. Listen, at first I was gonna say for $1.50, no, nah, it might be a little bit pricey, but girl, it is feeling so nice and I haven't even put it to my face yet. Little foundation on a wet finger beauty blender. Now I'm just gonna, oh, I'm patting it just because that's what I do with a beauty blender, but girl, close. I'm not gonna say it's a beauty blender because it isn't obviously, but very similar texture, feel, used with or without water, just like a beauty blender. I thought there was gonna be four in the packages. There's only two, totally worth $1.50. Tell me how much a beauty blender is. Now, if you're delicate with them and you don't tear them up like I just did, I bet it'll last you for a while if you just continue to clean them. So I'm gonna give the liquid foundation puff five Vivian heads. Number five, emoji toothbrush holders. We have a smiley face, a surprised face, and a smiley face with star eyeballs. How freaking cute is this? The kids are going to love them. And you can stick them on the mirror for you know what? Your next cruise. <laughs> you better be covering up your toothbrushes in a bathroom. That's gross. Do you know what's flying in the air in a bathroom? You have to cover up your toothbrushes. Now these come in different colors and different emojis so you guys know whose toothbrush is whose. I love it. 150 for three of them, that's not bad. Plus the cuteness, bonus. How for, <gasps> ooh. The quality is excellent on these things. How cute, and the colors are so pretty. Let's see. For traveling if you don't go on cruises like I do I go on cruises in my head at this point but as soon as cruise season opens up <laughs> you know who's the first sucker gonna be in line <laughs> with my fungalitis mask of course so you have your toothbrush super easy to use you just oh my god let me tell you something their quality is always on point but these are like really nicely made. I don't know what it is, but I am actually really impressed. They could have gone totally cheap with these. Super cute, highly recommend these. So I'm gonna give the emoji toothbrush holders five Vivian heads. Number six, train desk cleaner. So this guy is brand new. I did see it at the store and I walked right past it thinking it was a kid's toy, but no. Now. I have here some chia seeds because <laughs> that's all I could find that was small enough to mimic the crumbs on your desk. I couldn't find anything else. Now it doesn't need any batteries, any plugs or any charging. All you have to do is pull it back. <laughs> okay, maybe cheesy. Oh, okay. That's loud as hell. They're gonna know that your cubicle is dirty on cleaning day. <laughs> They're gonna be like, damn, Vivian's dirty. Always freaking vacuuming her desk. If somebody was doing that, they'd get fired because I'd be pissed off. And it's a basic ass product, look at this. And then you open, 
this is a toy. Don't even send this to school with the kids because people are gonna be like, what the hell's all that noise coming from your desk? It's very basic. So that's, I think, why it has to be sold out. Oh, too many. Okay. <laughs> if your desk looks like this, we got other problems. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Hey, it's worth. Oh, you gotta go forward. If you go backward, you're depositing them back on your desk. Forward, forward. Okay, let's empty it out because I picked up a lot already. It's a mess. Don't buy this, this one's silly. I'm gonna say cute idea, cute design, but it needs work and a battery and a suction and a filter. <laughs> the, the full vacuum technology, let's go ahead and put it in this guy because you're still making a mess with it. So it's kind of defeating the purpose. I'm just gonna use it as a paperweight or something just on my desk. I like trains, that's it. So I'm gonna give the train desk vacuum one Vivian head. Number seven. Makeup brush cleaner. Do we need this? I know a lot of you guys just, maybe you don't. <laughs> Clean your brush on your hand like this. That's what I do. I know some people use the little silicone pads as well. You can do that too. But if you don't have one, I just put a little soap on my hand and just rub my brush like this. It cleans them. <laughs> That's what I do. But now I have this fancy little thing from the Japanese dollar store. Oh, but wait a second. It's more. Look at it. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. It's a little fancier than just rubbing it around on your hand. In here, you put warm water with your soapy soap. Then you put this in to clean the brush, right? Ooh, this is like a really nice silicone. So you put it back in there like that. This is what you use to clean your brush. Then once they're done, you put them in there to dry. Now this did it for me because I always just lay them down on a paper towel till the next morning. Is this better? Is the water leaking into the brush? I don't know. I like this though, but there's only four little slots. If you have one of these battery powered ones, too thick. So you're gonna have to just, oh, well you can't wash it anyway. Like this? Yeah, see? Just do it like that. That's gonna work, four at a time. We have some water in there. Now, I don't have any uh, soap specifically made for makeup brushes, so I just use face wash. Same thing. If it's delicate enough for my face, it should be delicate enough for this, right? I'm not buying an extra product just to wash my brushes. Do you do that? I don't. So there's water in there, a little bit of soap, face wash, now my brush. Just place that in there, move it around. Ooh, look how dirty that is. Okay, this is probably cleaning a lot better than just the palm of my hand, right? <laughs> Definitely is. Ooh, and you can see the nastiness in that water. Okay, now we go rinse it off with clean water. That's gross, oh my God. How often do you guys clean your makeup brushes? I just do it like, <laughs> don't judge me, okay? Once a month. That's not great. But I don't wear that much makeup. Listen, I only do my makeup for the videos. I usually have just a bare, all natural face. Or unless I'm going somewhere, but I'm usually just a homebody. The little cup might be in the way. I would use just the little thing that's in there. And then the little stand, that's it. You just leave them in here to dry overnight. For $1.50, I actually think it's pretty good. So I'm gonna give the makeup brush cleaner four. Vivian heads. Number eight, handy bookshelf organizer. And I thought outside the box for this product when I saw it because it's made out of like pretty decent plastic. I thought, can we use this in the pantry to get like super Kardashian organized? Have you seen their pantries? It's like crazy, but it's on point. Like it's my dream come true. So it is a bookshelf, but I'm not bringing books. I brought canned food because I wanna see if it works with that. Another reason I got it, it kind of reminded me of those shelf things I did. I don't even remember the name. Shelf Perfect or Shelf, it's this video here. You should go watch it. I love those things. It organized every single cabinet in my house. I bought tons of them. The material of these shelves kind of reminded me of that product. They did sell this in paper form or this plastic. If you're gonna do canned goods, <laughs> I would recommend you do the plastic one. Okay, super easy to assemble. That's pretty much it. And then this in the back 
to hold it together. Okay, maybe not. It might be for books. <laughs> it is for books. Only one can's gonna fit. Well, that's not gonna work. Wait, what if we flip it and do a can on top? Nope. Okay, hold on because it gives you a couple different configurations of it. Will this configuration work better? See, two shelves, but only one can. <laughs> oh no. You're still getting a second shelf. You're gonna need about $87 <laughs> worth of these, unless you have like a little baby cans. Ooh, you know what else would look good on here? Maybe on top you do small cans and on the bottom you do like those thin tuna packs. I like it for this. Does that not just make your dreams come true right there? If your whole pantry looked that organized <gasps> with little shelves like that, I love it. What about under your sink? For like detergents and stuff? Maybe, no? Are you still gonna use it as a shelf? I'm not. If you can think of any other ways that we can use this in the bathroom, right? In the tub, maybe a face wash at the bottom and something else on the top. So I'm gonna give the handy bookshelf organizer four Vivian heads. I had to take one off because they're kind of pricey if I'm only gonna be able to use it like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.